Hey friends, Rebecca here. Welcome back to And a Sprinkle of Love. Today I'm excited to share with you a recipe that's been fondly dubbed as um, Christmas Eve hot cocoa. It is super simple. Um, if you've seen my grocery hauls, you've probably seen that we buy the Swiss Miss packets. And that is fine for a quick cup of hot chocolate, but if you wanted to make something kind of special, if you're having company, or just something special for your family, I would love for you to try this recipe. You'll love it, I promise. And it's just pretty simple and basic. Um, what you do is you start off with six cups of milk. Um, you can use whole milk if you want to. I'm just using what we have. We have 2% milk, and I'm putting it here in my slow cooker. Let's see how neat I can be at actually doing this. <laughs> okay, so we're just adding in six cups of milk. Okay, so this is where it gets a little scandalous. <laughs> we are going to add in one and a half cups of heavy cream. And you'll see why. This is just once in a while, but it's just, it's such a fun recipe. And you can just, um, you know, you can keep it on warm at, in the crock pot when it's finished. And I'll just stay warm and stay delicious all day long. I have a can of sweetened condensed milk. I'm just going to add that in and scrape some out because we no sweetened condensed milk left behind, right? So get all that out. Okay, so I am going to use a bag of, sorry, I can open it ahead of time. I'm just using a bag of milk, just milk chocolate chips. And Cooker. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And the only thing I'm going to do is I am just going to give it a quick little swoosh in here. And then I'm just going to put the lid on. And I'm just going to let this cook for a few hours. The chocolate will melt. It will all come together. You want to stir it. I usually leave it alone and let it do its thing probably on low for the first hour and a half or two hours. And then I'll come back and just give it a little stir just to see where it's at. Because I don't want to scald it, but I'll let you know. Um, I'll have the full recipe down below and and give you the exact um, time. Usually just all slow cookers, as we know, all kind of cook differently. But for right now, it's on low. And I will check it in about two hours and I'll be back to show you what that looks like. Okay friends, it has been about three hours that I've been cooking this on low. Um, I had taken, I went ahead about twice, twice while it was cooking. I just came to give it a little stir just to kind of get the chocolate off the bottom, just to kind of get it incorporated. But everything looks like it's melted. It's hot, but not too hot. It's just, it's, it turned out perfect exactly how I'd want to. Can you cook it on high? Yes, but you want to be careful because you don't want to scorch it or burn it. Um, just keep a really close eye on it. Um, I would say maybe two hours on high, and that should be one and a half, two hours maybe. But yeah, so here. This is, and this makes a, a nice portion. And if you wanted to infuse it with, um, you know, other flavors, if you wanted to add some almond extract or something else, you definitely could. So here is my little mug. I'm going to go ahead and serve this up. My kids are, we're getting ready to watch Elf and have some hot chocolate. And that's always like a fun time of, a fun tradition for us and you can and if you if it seems like oh this is just too much you can definitely half the rest you know cut the recipe in half and it will still be delicious if you want to make it on the stove top you definitely can make it on the stove top but if you want to just make the whole batch what I do is we will definitely have leftovers I'll just take a tall mason jar with the lid. I'll let it cool and then I'll just put it in the fridge and then we can just heat it up you know like the next day maybe for breakfast or just have it again so it works out really nice. So we got our we got our mug here and then we definitely 
our mar marshmallows. We got some mini marshmallows we're going to add to it. And, and we got some whipped cream. If you're going to do it right for the holidays, you should do it right. So there you have it. And then we just will add a little uh, peppermint stick on top. And there you have the perfect hot cocoa. And it's perfect for any time of year, but it's extra special made at Christmas time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well and have a very Merry Christmas. Be blessed and be a blessing. Thanks for watching. Bye.